Yo, what's up? It's me, Doc. And of course, this is our Reason 7 instructional DVD series. It's on sale now. You're watching previews on YouTube. So look, you can order it. Just click here for the DVDs or here for the download. Another cool way I can actually load sounds into a slot is to click right below the slot number. Like, for example, this is slot number 8. Okay? And I can click right here. And I get this drop down, this box here. And you can see all the available choices from that sample that was in that box. And if I scroll to the top here, you'll notice we can open the browser. I open the browser, and I can select sounds directly. Now, once you've selected your loops for Dr. Rex, and you got them in the slots, you can actually trigger them three different ways. Now, for example, here it says, trigger next loop. We've got to set the bar. So I'm going to go here and select run. Remember, this is not enabled here, where it says Enable Loop Playback. You won't hear anything. No matter what loop slot you select, you won't hear a single thing. Make sure you click here, Enable Loop Playback, Run. Okay, I'm in Bar, Trigger, Next Loop. So, now, two, three, four, one, two, three, next loop. So after one whole bar, one, two, three, four, the next loop comes in. One, two, three, four, now. Great. Now we're going to beat. That's every beat. So let's say one, two, and three, four to come in. One. As you can see, two, three, four, one, two. See, it comes right in. Or every 16th note. And you notice here it's still in a run. And that's how we can trigger the next loop. Okay, so you can see here we have this program section at the bottom. If you don't see it, you just click right here and you'll see it. See, it says Dr. Octorex Programmer. And we'll select this little triangle here. It points down and open up the programmer. Now here, on the left side of our program, you can see we have follow loop playback or select slice by MIDI. We'll cover this first. So if I press space bar and I start running reason, this loop will play back. Now here, as you can see, we have the select loop and loop load slot. It's pretty simple. So I've got, let's say, loops in here. I can select the loop, load it up, and look at it. And you'll see it's already been chopped up. And we can see each slice of that loop, whether it's one through eight. doesn't make a difference. We see them right here in this little window right below it. I can also select the new and browse for a different loop to put there if I want to as well. So it's kind of cool. works both ways here. And here I can select this loop here. And we'll see the little slots, little pieces of each loop. Now I can also copy loop to track. I can also transpose a loop. Like for example, uh, we'll just press space bar to play this loop. I can select here, as you can see, now we get different pitches. So just transposing the loop and anything else. I can also use this button right here. And you see as I drag down or drag up, we're changing the transposition of that loop. And go back to the original loop, I can just Hold down Command at Mac and select Loop Transpose. Now next here we have Loop Level. So here, I'll play back the loop. Stop it. I'll go to here. And I can control my Loop Level. Now this doesn't control the overall master. Like for example, that can be that level. That's going to be that level. And this will be that level. This just controls the level for that loop. Now, if you're not sure of the size of the loop and the tempo of the loop, you'll see it right here. For example, here I've selected slot 8, and you'll see here, file name is right there on top. And you'll see the loop info. There's the BPMs, 80 BPMs. We see a two-bar loop, and it's 4-4. Four, four. I'll click the first loop. That's a one bar loop, it's 4 4, and the tempo is 80 BPMs as well. And there's the name of it. So this is really cool. 
every loop name comes up. You see it right here in our select loop and load slot, which is kind of cool. Now, below that here, we can see each slice for, like, grab a slice right there. That's a slice, right? That's a piece of the loop. And here's one, too. Now, as I select them, you'll see how many little slots there are. There's a lot of slots right there. A lot of slices within one loop. And this helps Reason to expand that file to go between a certain BPM and another one. Like, for example, here, you'll notice here it says Bomb Squad Beats. And that can go between 80 and 89 BPMs. And it gives you a range you can use this loop in without it distorting too much. Now we have these knobs right here underneath. And this first one's for a slice. So this is the slice number, as you can see. And that's slice number five right there. I can pitch that slice. So I can go to here and pitch it up, and I'll play it back. Turn that snare into a high pitch snare or a low pitch snare here. I'll go down. As you can hear there, so we're changing that snare. And again, let's go lower. And we'll up to here. Let's change the pitch really way up there. This one. Now this one. So you can change. Let's say I want to change the pitch of the snares. And make them all a little higher. I can do that too. This is a cool way to sort of change the pitch of your snare drums and get a different tone on the snare drum in case you want to have a more pop to it. I'll turn the loop level up. Turn the loop level up a little more. Whoops. And you can hear it. And I can change those levels. Now I can also so change them back it's real quick. I can press Command, click here, go to here, press Command again, click the pitch, here, click the pitch, and here, click the pitch, and I'm back to normal. I can also do that with the panning, as you can see right there. I can pan it. Let's try panning real quickly. Get it down really good. And then we can go to the opposite end as well. See the very first one there? So the very first one's out. And of course, I'll press Command and click here. It's back to zero. Now, an easy way to do this is to go here to Slice Edit Mode. This is kind of cool. So, in Slice Edit Mode, the parameters are selected here, right under the slices for that loop. And I can get a little pencil here now. And let's say I want to change the pitch. So, let's go to Pitch. Grab Pitch right here. And now I can change the pitch. See that? I can change the panning. I can change the Let's go to Level. I can write my levels in. See, just write my levels in. And then play it back. Undo that. Just Command Z. I can also reverse. Let's go to reverse here. Click on reverse. And then I want to reverse this whole thing. And that's kind of cool.